Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. This episode, I'll be showing off the solution to the very hard version of the Mirror Machine, and we can finish this by using an algorithmic solution. This one will look much more different than the other two that we've gone for this far. So this time, everything's decided for us, we just need to put the filters down. So, we'll take this one trade at a time. They have the same feet, they have the same hair, so we need to change their nose, and we need to change their eyes. Now, looking at the filters, there are only two different nose filters. One of them creates a red nose, one creates an orange nose. Nobody has a red nose, but this Zoomini has an orange nose, which means we have to put this filter on this side. There's no two ways about it. So this turns her hair now into a bowl cut, which is not good. Now we need to match up the hair. And we're going to need to use these filters, I do believe. So if we put it on this side, that turns it into a bowl cut. Excellent! And now, because all of these hair are flashing, and we really don't want to change the eyes, let's take this and put it behind her. And this way, the solid bowl cut will be on this side, and both bowl cuts will match. Because if we put this in front of the other filter, that would turn into bald head. Uh, like, or the bald tuft hairstyle, and that won't work. So at this point, they have the same hair, which is a bowl cut. They have the same eyes, they have the same nose, they have the same feet. So we are good to go. This one's more about reasoning your way through the algorithm. You're going to have to do different... You basically have a bunch of different techniques you can use. And just through experience, you'll cultivate these. Alright, so they have the same feet. They have the same nose. We need to fix their eyes, and we need to fix their hair. Well, well, well. All of their, these eyes are flashing. Except for these, which will turn them into sleepy eyes. So if we put this on this side, it turns it into a cyclops. If we put it on this side, it turns into sleepy eyes. How about that? It also gives us a bald uh, tuft, so what we can do is put that filter on that side. That's going to turn his hair into bald, which will match this Zumbini's. It also forces his eyes to be sleepy, so we need to get his eyes sleepy. And we happen to have a solid sleepy-eyed filter that has a blue nose, but because they both have blue noses anyways, won't change that, so that'll be able to send them both through A-OK. -okay. It's really just about looking for the filters. Alright, same feet. Same nose, so we just have to worry about eyes and hair. So I look first for features that are solid that we need to fix. So we need to fix their eyes. I'm noticing there are two solid sleepy-eyed filters here. So if we put those two down, one on each side, that'll make their eyes match. However, one of them is spiky hair, the other is um, flashing hair. So if we put the flashing hair on this side, it turns it into purple or uh, green hat hair. If we put it on this side, it turns it into a bald head. Now that's kind of interesting. Now, we have another flashing filter on this side, though. We also have flashing hair on this side. Because these sleepy eyes are solid, we can put a flashing eye filter or a solid eye filter behind it, and it'll stay sleepy. So if we do this, that'll turn it into green hat hair. And then if we do it on this side, also green hat hair. However, that's the wrong type of eyes. So what we can do is put this eye filter in front on that side. So it's convoluted, but their nose and feet were the same. We didn't have to change those. If we look at the front of each, it'll be glasses for each side, and it'll be green hat hair for each side. So that actually works. And there might have been more than one way to do that. There, each of these might have more than one way to do it. So if you mess around enough, you'll actually get come to the solution, like, sooner or later. Just make sure you double-check before you pull the lever, because it's very easy to miss it by one trade. Alright, so their feet, eyes, and no uh, hair are the same, so we literally just have to change one of their noses. Well, guess what? We got two green, solid green nose filters with solid ponytails. So we can literally just put one on each side and pull the lever. That's the easiest one. If you, if you have the two identical filters, you can just put one on each side and that changes the it perfectly. That works. All right, their feet differ, and there's only one thing with that change, one filter that changes feet, and that's a propeller. So we've got to put that on that side. There's no two ways about that. They have the same nose, but they have different eyes and hair. Well, guess what? Eyes and hair filters. These two are identical and solid, and we can put one on each side. And bada bing, bada boom. That just takes us through that uh, <laughs> copy of the Zumini. That's really simple. I love it when that works out. All right, same everything except eyes. Excellent. Well, we don't have two solid eye filters here that we can use, but we can do... Hmm. Okay, this might take a little bit of finagling.
So let's rethink this. So, we literally just have to change their eyes. So, there are only two solid eyed filters and they give different eye styles. So, we're gonna have to use some of the flashing eyes. So, flashing eyes turn normal eyes into a cyclops and they turn sleepy eyes into glasses. So, looking at this, because we've got the glasses there, I kind of like the idea of changing it into glasses. So, we can do that. Their eyes now match, but now their hair does not. So what can we do about that? Well, we could use... We could use this, put this in front, but if we do that, then his eyes are going to be different. Which is not ideal. So let's go back to the drawing board on this one. What if we put this here? That turns him into a cyclops. And if we do that here... Oh! Yeah, this'll work. So we had to use free filters there, but we can basically change his eyes into glasses with a flashing filter. We had a sleepy eye filter which matches his sleepy eyes, so I put that down, put a flashing eye filter in front of that, and that happened to match the default hairstyle, so that'll not change his hair in the long run, but that'll still reflect into the sleepy eyes, and that'll reflect into the flashing filter turning into glasses. So they're both going to have spiky hair, they're both going to have glasses, they're both going to have a green nose, courtesy of that filter on that side, and the green nose happening to be there, and their feet are unchanged. I'm noticing feet filters are by far the least common, and I believe that is just the way the algorithm is structured for generating the filters. Alright, we literally just have to... Wow, okay, we can just change his hair to match her hair. <laughs> That's always a treat. All right, we just need to change their eyes and hair. Cool. Well, two solid eye and hair filters that are identical. We can put one on each side, and bada bing, bada boom. Some of these will be really simple, and some of them, like him, are going to take a lot of tries to get right. All right, we need to change their nose, and we need to change their eyes. We only have two eye filters. One of them is solid, one of them is flashing. The flashing filter is not going to change any of theirs into a cyclops eye, but it will change glasses into sunglasses, so we're going to have to put that on that side. So now we need to change nose and we need to change hair. If we put this on that side, what do you know? That'll make her nose match her nose, her eyes are going to match her eyes, and then they both get a spiky hair filter. She has a spiky hair filter because of her own hair and it's flashing, and that's just a solid one. Doesn't matter. That'll put them both out to victory. Now we need to scream, little lady. Alright, we need to change their nose, and we need to change their eyes. So we have one filter that changes to a gr Oh, that's perfect. We can just put this on that side. That'll change his nose and eyes to match his nose and eyes, and they'll be the same after that. Always look out for the simplest solution, and if, you, and if there is no simplest solution, then that's when you try finagling a bit. Alright, everything above the feet we gotta change. Well, we've got blue nose stuff here. If we put this filter on that side, all we have to do is change the eyes. And what we can do is we can make him a cyclops eye, a cyclops, and not change his nose. And we can put this behind that filter. She'll get a changed nose anyways, but now they'll both have a cyclops eye. So writing a program to actually implement this algorithm would be incredibly challenging, but doable. But being humans, we can do this all on our own very easily. Alright, gotta change the nose and we gotta change the hair. So, we got one solid nose and we've got two flashing noses. Alright, so if we put the flashing nose on that side, that reflects to red. Put it on this side, that reflects to blue. If we put this on this side, that reflects to green. Okay. Well then, let's put this over here. That reflects to purple. Alright, so their noses now match. All we need to do now is change this guy's hair. So we do that. It will change his feet, but it actually won't because he has a spring in the long run anyway. So their feet match, their nose will match, their eyes match, and their hair will match. Stacking flashing filters on each other can be a little daunting, but the nice thing is you get to see what the final result will be before you pull the lever. All right, we need to change their hair and their nose. All right, well... We can do that, and her nose is good. Now we just have to change her hair. 
And we can do that. Not using that, because that's a flashing feet filter, so we do not want to use that. Well, we've got a couple flashing hair filters here. The problem is that'll also change the eyes. Well, if we use that, we can use that to change the nose. Oh my gosh, that's the key. Wait. No, their noses don't match. Darn it! Oh wait, I'd have to move this in front. But now their noses match. Okay. Bull cut, and then glasses. Red. Oh my gosh. Like I said, if you get really stuck, if as long as you keep trying new combinations of the filters, you'll eventually find your way through. I have never seen a filter problem that hard before. Holy cow. Alright, well, we gotta match their feet. There's only one feet filter, so it's gotta go on that side. We gotta match the noses. Both these noses are flashing. We'll have to put them on this side, most likely. Yep, we're gonna have to put them on this side. It turns it into a purple nose. Give them glasses. Alright, so their hair are gonna match, their glasses are gonna match, and they both are gonna have the same nose and feet. Yeah! Much easier than the last one. Alright, gotta match their feet, so this has to go on that side, and their nose also matches, so now we need to just change their eyes. Well, well, well. That'll change his eyes into his eyes. Yeah! When you only have to put one or two filters down, it's a lot really easy. Well, not really easy, but it's a lot more e it's a lot easier. Nose and hair, that's it. Alright, well, this is a flashing nose filter. That'll change it into... Alright, that'll change it into purple. Yep, we can just do that on each side. And bada beam, bada boom. That's it for the mirror machine. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time for the final solution to Mirror Machine, which will be on the last difficulty. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.